find that um, working on this course is really good because you get enough time in the garage and we've got enough resources. I find coming to college helps me with work because um, what I learn at college I can transfer it straight to work and then they can see that I'm learning and getting on. I've had groups from this college at my workshop, they've spent days working with my team, learning about cars, learning about what it's like to build cars in the real world. We, we try to work to slightly maybe above motor industry standards at the present time. That way we know that when we send somebody out there, they're going to be doing the job as it should be done. I mean, what we're trying to do with the students is just make sure that they are really getting to know state-of-the-art engineering. They're working on motor vehicle technology. Then the best way for them to see what's really happening in the industry is to let them see examples of the real thing. Getting cars like this in your college, it's been like a birthday present. Well, no, man. <laughs> it really is. You don't get to see any cars like this normally, but where I work, I get to see Lamborghinis, Ferraris and all that. But you never get into them like this. In the main, we, we run courses like we say from that entry right through to, to the HNC, HND courses. Uh, in between that, there's a whole raft of courses that the, the students would actually be involved in. And that might be a diploma level one, twos and threes, and that's in what we call the light vehicle. And that's your traditional mechanic courses, right through to what we call the motorsports. And then there's a, there's a, a flavour, there's a taste of, of, of the motorsport industry. And at the moment, you know, we've been involved with industry and a possible I'm not saying Formula One, but certainly heading for that, that uh, opportunity there with our learners to engage at pit stops and, and with industry on racetracks, etc. Moving into that. And employers are, are supporting us in that initiative at the moment. I, I like the fact that it's, very, it's, it's quite hands on. So, it, it, in, a, in a sense, it is preparing you for the outside world. You are, with, with the Mazda MX5 project, we're converting it into a race car. So it is exactly what we'd be doing if we entered the motorsport team in the future. So it, it gives us that, that stepping stone. The Mazda is very close racing and it's one make uh, race series, which means that it's not who's got the most money, it's actually uh, all about the driver and how they set their car up. Uh, the car actually lends itself to being a race car in that uh, all of the geometry is um, adjustable, which is unusual on a road car, um, but it, it then gives them uh, the ability to change different things and try different setups um, and uh, therefore they should get some good exposure to the racing world. Why would a college in London dabble in motorsport? I think the simple answer is skills, which I'll touch on a little bit further, but it's a huge industry, £6 billion pounds apparently in, in the UK that it's worth. Over four and a half thousand companies involved in some form of motorsport organisation. Over 30 odd thousand staff that, that are employed. And within that, I think around at the last count, over 20,000 engineers. So, so for us, this is about trying to equip our students with the best possible opportunity. What the college is doing is a fine example of supporting students. There's one thing turning up to class learning from a book, taking that knowledge and entering the world, but there's nothing better than having hands-on experience. You know, our learners at the moment are articulating to the, the what we call the Baird Road facility, and that's Barnet and Southgate's body and paint facility, and that really is our state of the art, our jewel in the crown. Facilities we offer are maybe slightly above what the best of the body shops are offering out there at the moment, in the way that we offer the wheel refurbishment, the sandblasting, the welding, uh, and the jig and everything else that goes with it. I think it gives them an excellent background in the ways of working in the body shop industry and also the correct procedures and the safe procedures as well. What I've seen so far, everybody's working correctly, they're well monitored and supervised and they're working very safe. And we do a lot of work for local businesses and for local collectors of vehicles. And the more we do, the, the more we get because we're quite good. Um, the students enjoy it as well. We use all the current paints, materials, and our restorations will last a, lot, last a lot longer than the old style ones because we're using modern day prop, prop, uh, equipment and materials as well. It's a clean environment, it's got all the tools we need, light for all life environment and helpful stuff.
the spray here. Jobs are a key aspect. I think that's for, for any course, uh, any college and any course that's in the college. The articulation to the, the job market is key. Uh, you'll find that our learners are, are all over North London and the North London garages and, and they're sought after by, by employers. So employability is a key aspect here. In terms of employability, well, what we're trying to do with employers now is effectively um, bring the facilities of the college to their attention. And through doing the uh, racing, also by the fact that the industry do know that we are bringing these modern cars in, into, the, uh, into the college, then we're using those links to try and uh, engage with employers, manufacturers in particular obviously, to look at how they can provide technical, technological input and experience to our students, but also hopefully uh, put a marker there so that our students can make progressions and go into the into, you know, main manufacturing fields. With the college we go to like uh, the auto shows and stuff like that, so it gives us a chance to walk around and uh, meet new people, gain new contacts. We get enough skills, we've got the uh, right teachers, we get enough help. Uh, the resources in the college is fantastic. We've got all of the right equipment in our garage. F facilities are great. I mean, they uh, everyone uses it, everyone respects it. They have all the tools we need to work on the cars. Uh, it's a good environment as well. So. I value my course um, very highly because it's going to get me into a, a business relating to motorsport. I'm looking at doing an automotive engineering and motorsport engineering degree and then from there maybe get into a high-end motorsport team and become a, a superficial figure in it. What, what I'd really want to go into is restoring old cars rather than working on modern day cars. Well hopefully after this course I'm going to open up my own tuning company or tuning garage. That's where engineers are like uh, customization, tuning engines, all that stuff. The point of college is to prepare young people for the, you know, the real world and what better way than getting employers, brands, people in the industry face-to-face -face contact with your students.